I'm Ryan. And I'm Allie. After falling in love, we decided to ride bikes across America. Collecting love advice along the way. This is Love Cycles. No No flatties, no no whammies, no no crashies. (laughs) Zebby, I'm going to miss you, Zebby. Want me to throw your ball? Want me to throw your ball? Go get it. Hey, Xantha, why aren't you wearing bike clothes? We're going to Carhenge today. Wait a second. You're not coming to New York? (laughs) Dana tried to get us to go to New York, but there's just no way. It's time. Are you filming right now? Sad. Brian can't talk. Yeah, we're going to miss you. Debbie, quiet. We're making videos. (laughs) Thank you guys so much. Yes. It's been a fun, fun trip. Thank yes, you I'm for letting us come out. crash your party on oh, the cowboy trail. It was amazing. It's a good yeah. thing I'm wearing sunglasses because I'm crying quite a bit. Oh, <laughs> and... oh. All right. Love you guys so much. All right, let's go to New York. That was a much more teary goodbye <laughs> than I thought it would be. I am so grateful to have those women in my life. Fuck, I can't talk still. <laughs> Whew, you talk. <laughs> you guys have a really special relationship and I'm really grateful to have gotten to spend this time uh, with Dana and Xantha and having them on this adventure, not just, uh, you know, for, for having them on the adventure, for that time to connect. Yeah. That time to, to really see the relationship that you guys have, which is such a special and incredible thing. It's not a feeling of sadness. It's an overwhelming feeling of joy. Joy that they were with us. And uh, joy for this whole ride. We're like halfway through it, a little bit more even. And all the people we've met, the connections we've made. It's an amazing feeling to be surrounded by so much love from people you know really well and people you don't know at all. Yeah, one of the things that uh, has blown me away again and again on this trip is just the way that yeah, friends, family show up to support and with so much joy and love and presence. And then, yeah, the strangers that we meet along the way, you know, the people who drive by us and offer us water and you know, ask if there's anything we need, and just, you know, people you've never met before. Um, it's, it's really such a nourishing thing to be reminded of that love and goodness and common just bond, how we're surrounded by that all the time. You're probably watching this video being like, why is Ryan so emotional? It's hard to explain. I just, oh, I get this way. I'm a softy, and... I'm just feeling really overwhelmed with goodness right now. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Dana and Xantha were the trigger. <laughs> they always are. <sighs> and we're just surrounded by nature and all these beautiful sounds of insects and toads. And it's like every day almost we have this little thing the way we do. And I go, hey, Allie, guess what? She says, what? And I go, we're riding across America. <laughs> And it's like, sometimes you have to stop and be like, yeah, we are riding all the way. And it's pretty incredible. It's crazy. We live a lifetime every day and we go through all the feelings and we see more things in a day than we often see in a week. My heart, my heart is very happy. And maybe by the end of the day, I'll stop breaking down into tears. We'll see. It usually doesn't last this long. <laughs> Whew, let's keep going. So we're riding by this thing and it's for sale and I'm thinking we could ditch the bikes and take that bad boy. What do you think? <laughs> I think I'm driving. Yeah, but that's, that's a given. Um, but yeah, this, I think uh, we could get to New York pretty fast in this little buggy. I could sit in the back there and make peanut butter and jelly tortillas and... I'm pretty sure it goes at least 15 miles an hour.
found some mulberries. We don't have these in Colorado. Oh, you gotta jump high to get some of them. Uh, hmm, maybe we don't need to go shopping today. There is nothing as delicious as food that you find yourself out in the wilderness or alongside a paved trail. I hate to say it, but that's it. No more cowboy trail. <laughs> came to a very quiet end, it just all of a sudden started getting all curvy and we we're like, huh, I don't think a train was going on this track. So now we're going to get on a road. We're going to deal with cars again. It's been a while. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh, we'll be okay. One of the things I like about the Midwest and Nebraska is they let you camp in city parks. And that's what we're doing tonight. It's Friday night, beautiful, beautiful, and uh, we're just gonna make our home right here. What are you eating, Ollie? Oatmeal. Cold oatmeal? Mm. It's just cold water with instant oatmeal. Putting on the sunscreen. That's what we do every morning. A lot of you might wonder why I wear these arm things. It's more so I don't have to put sunscreen on my arm than anything else. And this buff around my neck. Yes, it is hot, but it keeps all the sun off the back of my neck. All right, Miss Allie. Today we go to a new state, Iowa. Yeah. I'm excited. Have you been to Iowa? No, I don't think so. I think this will be my first time in Iowa. Well. You're going to love it, mainly because we're going to be on Ragbri the whole time. So glad that it's working out, that our timing is perfect. We have about 60 miles of some chill Nebraska roads, and then we're going to be in Iowa. So let's have a great day. Mwah. In 200 feet, continue on to 6th Street. Thank you, Siri. Good morning. Turn left onto 3rd Street. We may not be on the cowboy trail anymore, but I'm loving these country roads. This is the Cornhusker State. Growing up in Boulder, the Cornhuskers were our very hated rivals in football. So I didn't grow up really liking Nebraska. But now, being here on the ground in Nebraska, I like it a lot. Everybody's super friendly, and it has a, a nice charm and beauty to it. I mean, it's not the towering mountains of the, the Rockies, and we're not, camping with hot springs in our backyard, but I like it here a lot. excited about Ragbri. It is without a doubt my favorite bike event I've ever participated in. I've done it twice and it's just a lot of fun. I always tell people that it's it kind of shows off the best of small town America and they're all about pie and good food and music and bicycles obviously. We're gonna run into about 20,000 people on bikes and Ragbri, you're probably wondering, what does it stand for? It stands for the Register's Annual Great Bike Ride Across Iowa. And it was started like 41 years ago by some reporters from the Register. In Iowa, they wanted to ride across Iowa and report about the small town life. And then more and more people started doing it, and here you go, now you have 20,000 people doing it. And I'm really excited for Allie to experience this event. It is a special one for sure. Green means go! Whoa, that's crazy! That is without a doubt the coolest thing we've seen on any road on this trip, a giant blade of a windmill. When you see it from far away, it looks like just an ocean waving. We're only the second one? Second. Really? Well, oh, here, do you want the money? Yep. Cool. What do you tell him? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, Allie. Mmm. Did you make the lemonade? Yeah. 
Cool. We are getting ready to ride over the Missouri River, and this is our last little bit of Nebraska. Allie, say goodbye. Last little bit of Nebraska. Holy shit, yeah, don't look down. Yeah, it's a little squirrely. There's the Missouri River. But now we're in Iowa. Woo look at that, fields of opportunities. The people of Iowa welcome us. Thank you, people of Iowa. We're happy to be here. We don't know who you are, but we are excited to be here. And you know what time it is. I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to get pumped up. It's rag ride time. USA! USA! Man, it's like bikes just rule the world this week here in Iowa. What's up? All right, I think we found our home. Tent City. First things first, time to hose off. <laughs> I just hosed it up my nose. You just hosed it up your nose? I hosed up my nose. What? 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 We're going to go find some food now. And a lot of times, these towns have churches or fire stations or whatever, and they have some sort of a sponsored dinner, so we're going to go see if we can find some good food. There are many, many thousands of people that participate in RAGBRAI. I've heard numbers up to 20,000, and the towns, the host cities every night are pretty small. There's definitely not 20,000 hotel rooms. So, they put up what we call tent cities, and that pretty much means any piece of green grass in the town is taken over by tents and city parks and backyards and whatever it may be and it is a fun sight for sure Allie, why are you doing this because if you do a hopscotch you get free beer all right do it did i do it right you i haven't it. hopscotch since i was like eight years old you earned a beer oh look at Allie taking a shot of fireball in your honor in my honor thank Not you always. friends ah oh. Fireball used to be my favorite whiskey when I drank alcohol. I don't drink alcohol anymore, but yum, cinnamon hot fireball. Wow, we just walked into this party and it's totally distracting. They're like, take a shot, come here, get food, do this, do that. These are my two great grandkids. Oh, well, you are a lucky woman. I know. And this is how Ragbri works. It's just magic. You just make friends and they feed you and they smile and it's just so great. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, mm, you get in there, Allie? Beans. Beans. Very important part of any meal. Come outside. Oh, we are coming outside. Oh, this is so amazing. I got a, just a huge plate of food here. I'm really happy and I'm going to make some new friends now. And this is just how it works here at Ragbri. This is so much fun. This older gentleman here, I walked up to the table and he goes, this is how the world should be. Generous and happy. Bye. 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 Thank you. You guys Everybody are the best. Allie, did you enjoy that or what? Oh, they were so wonderful. They were great. That was just. They were great. They just <sighs> opened their house and their hearts and just welcomed us in. Come on fed in. Us, fed us all sorts of delicious food. Yep. Sat us down. Talked to us about life and love. <laughs> and we haven't even started great. riding our bikes yet at Ragbri. This is a good first night. Yeah.